What is Cushing's disease? Cushing's disease is caused by overproduction of cortisol from the adrenal glands. Cushing's disease is normally caused by primary disease in the glands such as a tumour or secondary complaint in the pituitary glands. The pituitary gland is part of the brain and produces ACHT hormone which regulates the adrenal glands. A disease in the pituitary gland is also due to a tumour in most cases. What are signs of Cushing's disease? The most common sign of Cushing's disease is alopecia, which is usually accompanied by an increase in pigmentation of the skin. Obesity may also be seen along with an increase in thirst, wasting of skeleton muscles resulting in impaired movement, and cuts or wounds or scabs on the skin may also occur. How does Cushing's develop over time? The average age for a hamster to develop Cushing's disease appears to be between 14 and 18 months old. The first signs of Cushing's disease is usually hair loss. However, it is also very common for hamsters of this age to have hair loss that is unrelated to the illness. It is possible for hamsters to lose hair due to an infestation of mites, which should be treated by a vet. Therefore, with this in mind, it is difficult to diagnose early stages of Cushing's disease in hamsters. Cushing's disease is usually given if the hair loss worsens even after the mites have been treated, with the result of a skin scrape being negative for mites. There is currently no treatment for Cushing's disease in hamsters, unlike in cats and dogs whose medication can help manage the illness. It could be possible to prescribe a much lower dosage of these drugs for the hamsters, but most vets will not offer this treatment as it is not licensed. Hair loss related to Cushing's disease usually begins in one or more of the following places. The underside of the hamster near the genitals, around the scent glands on the hips, or just above the tail. In a couple of months the hair loss will progress quite rapidly so that almost all the hair on the rear end and the belly is lost, leaving a few tufts here and there. You may also notice dark pigment spots appearing on the skin and some new hair may even start to grow. This often provides false hope that the hamster is recovering. As the next couple of months pass, much more hair will be lost. The hair loss will progress further down the head on both the back and the belly. The head tends to be the last place where the hamster loses their fur. You may also notice your hamster drinking more and the cage beginning to smell before it is due to be cleaned out. This is due to extra urine production. As the cage is beginning to smell more, you should clean the hamster cage out more regularly. By this point, you may also notice your hamster looking smaller and thinner. Provide extra nesting material for warmth. You may also notice cuts appearing on the skin. Remove sharp toys such as wooden objects as the exposed skin is delicate and vulnerable. The hamster will develop wounds and scabs caused by the disease. You will also notice that the skin is becoming wrinkled and dry. It will be beneficial to your hamster if you purchase some cream to help comfort the itching which your hamster will be experiencing. Cream can be bought from your vet, a local pet store or even a chemist. I am currently using Sodo Creme to soothe Coco's itchy skin. At this time, you will also start to notice your hamster sleeping much more and wanting to play less. However, when the hamster is awake, they will be enthusiastic as ever to come out and play. It is very important that you hold and play with your hamster as normal, even if the change of appearance puts you off. The hamster will not understand if you do not hold them as much as usual. Your hamster needs to feel that you still love them even if they do have an illness. Stroke the hair that still remains on your hamster and just give them the best care you possibly can. How do you know when it's time to euthanize your hamster? The majority of hamsters with Cushing's disease have to be taken to a vet to get put to sleep to end their suffering. Not many hamsters will pass away naturally before the suffering begins. It is very important to keep an eye on your hamster's movement. If the hamster becomes too impaired, such as having difficulty walking, then it is kinder to euthanize rather than letting them suffer. Only you can make the final decision about when is the right time to euthanize as you know your hamster best. If you believe your hamster has Cushing's disease, it is best to consult a vet as they will be able to rule out any other possibilities such as mites. Oh,